With Caesar stone being a, a, a surface material in the main, I was very keen to try and make it act in several different ways. So um, it's got some advantages over natural stone in as much as you can curve it, you can probably use it in thinner pieces and you can cut into it in, in a, a probably more um, effective way than you might be able to with natural stone. So one aspect was about demonstrating the potential of the material and then another aspect was trying to work out how you can make a functioning kitchen look more like a sculpture We've got this fantastic architecture which is split into four. Four kitchens, four different methods of preparation, and four elements. The way the medieval alchemists used to look at the world. And when I start to work with Caesar stone, I look at all the surfaces. They have this uh, feeling of the matter that it becomes a visual element, but at the same time it maintains this idea of the raw matter. Four colors, four styles, divide the Caesar stone into four different color palettes. One had to be area, the other one had to be dark and earthy. You know, it's deconstructing um, the dining experience and making each kitchen function in a different way. All these kitchens, they don't have like a back and a front. And this, I think, amplify the possibility of interaction, a dialogue between who is eating and who is preparing. There's no reason for a kitchen to be boring, right? So what's going on here is a kind of, you know, kitchen futurism, maybe.